Hello, I'm Ron Miscavige, and this is another episode of Life After Scientology. And I have your favorite guest on today to uh, take up a point and enlighten you on something that is almost on the border of unbelievable. But we're going to get into it. So let me do a little business first, and that is this. If you care to support this program or the ongoingness of it, as I say, you can become a Patreon or you can do a one-time donation through PayPal. And the links to these both facilities are in the description uh, on this on this show. So without getting into any further business, because I've taken care of business, I got to tell you, Karen, I saw this on Tony Ortega and it is like, I have to say this because they finally showed their true colors. And what I mean by that is this, they finally were truthful about something. <laughs> and here's the truth of it. Scientology, and I think it was Mark Headley that described them as a cult disguised as a religion operating as a business. Because what they did, you don't do unless you are a business. And they call themselves a church, which it would be like me calling myself a rhinoceros. If you look at me, you can see I'm not a rhinoceros. I'm not a penguin. I'm a person. And if you look at them, they say they're a church. But anyway, let's get right into it. Karen, De, Karen De La Curie, welcome to the show. And I'm going to give you a one man audience. Just... Hooray! Ron, I'm a, can I just tell you something going on? This is Valentine, who is <laughs> absolutely sick. Valentine is a cat, 30% blind. We've had the finest cat ophthalmologist see her eyes. She was born, born like that. And when we went to adopt from these cats, they said that people don't like, they, they want perfect cats. <laughs> no. So we took Valentine, and she is a love. She's just my. I see that. Oh she's boy. Licking me with her rough tongue as you've been talking. So anyway, I I, I want to give my full attention to the show. Oh, uh, Valentine. Uh, okay, so I'm here with you, hundred percent. A cult disguised as a religion operating as a business yeah that's quite a good um that's that's cool that's says so much in one sentence well the word of the day the word of the week the word of the month is pandemic COVID-19 right and I want to tell you Ron that prisoners in California serial killers like who was that guy who killed off his pregnant wife and the Brits showed up in San Francisco Bay? Anyway, I don't know. They ripped off $1 billion of PP money. All went to prisoners who learned to game the system with pre and they were sent $1 billion. Well, the Church of Scientology, birds of a feather, the criminal cult of Scientology has successfully ripped off mega bucks that, <laughs> that were supposed to go to businesses. But look at the contrary facts. Doesn't Scientology swear up and down it's not a business? All the time. All the time. Law courts, spiritual, religion, ecclesiastical. Well, this whole program was designed to help businesses to pay staff who would become indigent. Some of them lose their properties, go into foreclosure, live on the streets as homeless. This was what it was designed for. Right. To avoid more people not going belly up and not going homeless. And of course, the Church of Scientology, the church, the cult of Scientology's op octopus tentacles moved right in to see what they could rip off from the U.S. government. Now, Ron, they don't pay taxes. 
they're off the they got the IRS to get them off the hook. So they're not paying in anything. Right. Milk the US government for medical. They send five thousand CO members. When they get medical, they send them for free medical and make the state or the county pay. They yeah. made planned parenthood pay for the hundreds, if not thousands, of ab abortions that the cult of Scientology coerced young girls in their 20s and 30s for 25 years. Planned Parenthood, which is funded by the US government, paid for those abortions. So whenever they have a chance to milk the US government, <laughs> they do. I want yeah. to show you a few, just a few pictures to give a little context here. And by the way, to back up what you're saying, you know, I was on staff for 26 and a half years. If I ever had a medical situation, it was always called um, workman's compensation. And the church would pay nothing and I would go and be taken care of under the workman's compensation laws, which the government would pay for my treatment. I mean, look, I was in the Marines more many years ago, back in the 50s. So I'm a Marine veteran, but I have served my time and, you know, and my willingness to help defend this country against the aggressors. And therefore, as a Marine veteran, I get my medical taken care of by the Veterans Administration Hospital here in Milwaukee. But that's only fair because I did what is expected to be done to gain that particular priority or perk, perk you would call it, you know. And with Scientology, they claim they help people. I, I'll tell you something, the day they help somebody is a day I'd like to see. <laughs> the greed of the cult. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, Time Magazine called it the cult of greed. I know, yeah. The greed is beyond anything you can even imagine. They have no conscience in ripping off elderly seniors. Yeah. You know, take his blog, did a blog after blog of people in their 70s flown in, airline ticket paid, made to sit down, take out 20 credit cards all at the same time. Max them to $70,000. Yeah, I remember the guy. Yeah. No, there was more than one. Graham Berry got money back. Graham Berry, the lawyer. Now, the cult of Scientology's greed for money surpasses anything that you've ever known. And you know what their defense is for ripping off Four point something million dollars. Yeah, four four point four million dollars. We added it up. Yeah. Do you know what their defense is? Oh, yeah. other religions are getting it. That's like a group of gangsters. We we've got gangs in LA saying, well, we're not the only ones. The gang next door is also killing. That that argument is, other people are doing the same crime. So why? You, so what's wrong with it? Because other people are doing it. Imagine yeah. You and I went to a comment where we were accused of non-production or pr producing what we call a bad product. And we said, other staff are also doing it. <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you something about ComEvs. Karen, I was on staff for 26 and a half years. I never saw a, con a ComEv that had anything to do with justice. Mm -hmm. If you were ComEv, you were guilty. And if that comment didn't prove it, they'd start another one to make sure yes. you were found guilty of the crime. I, they, I'll tell you, it was like Torquemada in the Spanish Inquisition. If the Spanish Inquisition called her up, you might as well kiss your butt goodbye. You were guilty. Kangaroo courts. Yeah. <laughs> Scientology pretending ethics, pretending morality. Yeah. While they are, but, and I speak from 40 years in. Yeah, doing I know. Everything they asked in training and uh, counseling, doing doing it day by day. I lived and breathed it. I will tell you, the cult of Scientology is crooked, but the banks don't know it. I know. This this is called. Can you see this? Yes. 
This is called Nakanan Fresh Start. Wells Fargo gave them 481,447 dollars. They operate in Southern California. I'm going to have to talk to some Wells Fargo execs. You know the problem with this? Nobody's informing the banks. You know, you're right. The con that these are crooked, crooked, evil. People. Yeah, but, you know, in, in, in defense of the banks, you, you got to admit, when they go to do something, they have all of their photographers from gold giving a presentation with bankers box full of stuff. And I, I guess they sound convincing or else, you know, everybody at a bank and there's a lot of them that did this. They all can't be plugged stupid. You know, the guy at a bank giving out the money, he's usually pretty careful as to who he gives money to. What do well, you think? I don't know. <laughs> there are banks that turn you down for a loan in the New York second. Yeah. Not someone, I have, I have impeccable credit, so I, I get solicited to take out loans, which I never do. I don't believe in debt. But yeah. banks like Chase Manhattan, they've been on I know. Them. And Chase... Now, these banks will be asked to forgive these loans. So basically, these loans are a complete ripoff. Right? Wow. The whole program entitles you to forgiveness of the loan. Yeah. Forgiveness means forget about being paid back. Right. Now, here's the Church of Scientology of Michigan that got $91,000, this top one. Can you see it, Frank? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's, it's a good uh, good picture of it there. PPP P, P, P money. Now, imagine how many people in Michigan who can't put bread on the table. Yeah. Who could have gotten that money? Yeah, absolutely. The, len the lender, they call it lender, which is, <laughs> they're not going to pay this back. Huntington National Bank. Here's the next yeah. one. Oh, I got to tell you something about this one. This one was $82,000. Do you see here? Yeah, this yeah. One here. It's called Mission of Los Feliz. Now, this is a bank I need to be in touch with. <gasps> this is Chase. This is Chase Manhattan. JB, wow. Shall I tell you something about this Mission of Los Feliz? It's a building donated by Patrick Renner. Sort of a wannabe actor who yeah. got an inheritance, whatever. But, but, he did something, and I'm not going to get into what he did. And as a kind of extortion blackmail, he had to donate this fancy building, which he did. It's empty. There's never a car in the parking lot. There are no staff. There's a sign there saying, open by appointment only. Tuesdays and Thursdays at one o'clock to three. So twice a week, it's open for a couple of hours. And they got Chase Manhattan to give them $82,000. Whoa. $82,000. They don't have staff. This is supposed to be for businesses to pay staff. They I know that. Staff. They're open a couple of, day, couple of hours twice a week. Now, you know, I, I didn't know that up until this point, but there was a place here. Well, I live in West Dallas, Wisconsin, and that's a block away from Milwaukee. They had a little office in a strip mall and they were open by appointment only for two hours at a time. So who's getting who? That's nothing. It's just a zero. So Patrick Rennett, did he put in for the loan? I guess he did, didn't he? I don't know. He's, he's there for name on. I mean, he he just gave the building on a, on a, on a very shady extortion. Thing. So there's this glamorous building. It's walking distance from my home, for God's sake. Wow. In my neighborhood, Las Vegas. Eighty-two thousand dollars. The cult of Scientology scammed out of J.P. Morgan for no stuff. You know. I appeal to everyone who watches this show. 
I'm going to pin Tony Ortega and the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail grabbed Tony Ortega's thing and did a whole thing. The banks are listed there. I appeal to people who watch the show to let the banks know of the card. Boy, I'll tell you, that would be real good. That the would be banks good are if. Ignorant. These bankers are not watching YouTube necessarily on cult exposures, although the Netflix show of Leah and Mike might be very helpful. But they need to come up to date on the yeah. um, con of Scientology. They really do. Yeah. Knocking on Suncoast. Lender Regions Bank. Never even heard of it. $199,905. Wow. See? Did you say 991000 No, one ninety-nine. $199,000 and then $995. Now, the reason we know these figures is a judge ordered the Trump administration to reveal who's getting caught. Revelations were only ordered a very short week or so ago. So suddenly, you can't get this illegal money, <laughs> scammed money, and you can't be hidden. You can't be under the covers. Yeah. Because this is all available on the internet. Hmm. So I just want to not to beat the drum too much. Washington, D.C. got $184,000. $837. This. Wow. Uh, Karen, I was there for the opening of that building. Ah, ah. Gorgeous, gorgeous building. Was the opening? How long ago? Uh, it was in 2006, something like that. Yeah. You see, this money is supposed to be for staff. Yeah. The whole design of it was that businesses who had no money to pay their workers could pay. But Scientology doesn't pay workers. It hoards the money. I know. Now, there's something in Scientology called financial planning. Now, Ron, paying the cult is the first, like, <laughs> every church has to pay a higher church and a higher church. So right. right off the top, before staff get paid at all, the cult gets its... Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, they, they suck up uh, all the the money and then the staff get what they call chump change if there's any left. I was there, you were there, you know what the hell is happening. You you did your FP number one, uh, cover this and cover that, management fees and everything, and usually there's nothing left for staff or maybe enough to pay them half pay and if they even get that. It, it's just a straight out con, let's face it. But Ron, you know, there's just no conscience. They don't I know. feel guilty. They feel getting $4.4 million out of the U.S. government. They consider it a win. Yeah. They consider how... <laughs> and how much of that would go to staff? There's never any follow-up to see what is done. Now, Church of Scientology of New York, which is all boarded up, boarded up. Hundred and eighty four thousand and seventy one dollars from a lender called Cabbage Inc. This is New York. Yeah. I've been there. I've seen it. And it's a gorgeous building. I was there for the opening of that, too. When I say the opening, when I worked in the Church of Scientology on staff, I was in the music department and I would go to many of these orgs and organize a musical opening. And we had a brass band that played for that opening. We played uh, New York, New York. And a uh, beautiful band. And here I, you know, I, I was drinking the Kool-Aid. I got to tell you, Karen. And uh, I used to get these things together and they were glorious. Open it up and it's a place to go to get conned. All right. Let's face it. Yeah. Yep. Terrible. The reason we say conned is even though people may get a real feel good feeling and they're just talking from their heart to the council 
It's yeah. sustainable. In other words, they never go back and become better human beings. No. They rise up in society to learn to help others, right? They just, uh, there's, there's no betterment of the soul like they pretend they're selling. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Whatever it is you want, whatever you want, we can give you, just give us your money. Yeah. And we'll give you anything your heart desires we can handle that in counseling just fork over your cash yep not only not only can we give you everything you want we want to give you everything you want <laughs> as soon as you as soon as you hand over your cash but the truth is ron you and i know 40 years in you and I know very well. Yeah. The truth is, what you want, once you're in and they've snared you in, they're going to deny you what you want. Yep. The whole of disconnection is deny you connection with what is dearest to your heart. Yep, that's exactly right, Karen. So they're not giving you what you want. They're denying and making quite sure you can't have what you want. Yeah. You've never even met your great grandchildren, right? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And that well, I would want more than anything in this world. And I know this that I, I've lost them. And that was simply it. So uh, unbelievably, I was the one who got everybody in. So, um, as they say in Scientology, the hoist of my own petard, which means you're the effect of your own creation, which, you know, I've looked at myself in the mirror and admitted, you know, I was conned. And at least I'm doing this because I feel this is something that we can help other people who haven't been conned yet by being enlightened by these programs and just staying away from it as if, you know, it's the worst thing that could happen to you in your life. And to be honest with you, it probably is that. So anyway, that's my two cents. You, you go on because uh, it, it, it's terrible to lose those things that are dearest to you. So I want so this show can be short and pithy. We wanted to just tell you about the pandemic ripoff of government funds that should be going to people needing money to put food on the table. That the wealthy cult of Scientology with three billion and Billion with a B yeah. in hard cash sitting there was managed to suck out of the U.S. government when it doesn't pay taxes, when it uses free government services like fire brigade, police, 911, emergency ambulance, any government service available. The cult doesn't contribute at all. I know. And... It sucks out PPP money, which I doubt is going to stop pay because they don't pay stuff. Well, I would doubt it too, but I'd go further and I'd say I absolutely know that staff is not going to benefit from that money they got. Not even a chance. And that's my opinion. And it's a pretty goddamn good opinion. Okay. Right. They need to show, they need to provide evidence that that 4.4 million actually went. And, but, but, but here's the thing that we're not up enough. They say they're not a business. These are business loans. Yeah. They're business <laughs> loans. They swear up and down they're not a business. So what are they doing taking out business loans, which essentially are going to, they're not loans, they're going to be forgiven. The whole program is going to be forgiven. Well, maybe they told the truth for one time alone, and that is admitting they're a business, business so they could get the loan. And, you know, that's that's the bottom line of all this. They, you know, they didn't say it, but they might as well say, OK, we give in. We're a business. We're going to fuck you over. Excuse my one slip of the program, but, you know, that's a good uh, adjective to use right now. We're, we're going to screw you over. That we're, we're a business. We are. The only thing that makes them the most hated cult of the century is 
they're a vengeful business. Usually a business won't attack you with virulent websites and yeah. taking away your family. And usually a business acts. I mean, just think of any corporate business, any Fortune 500. Yeah. It they would never do that. It wouldn't dream of cutting you off from your great grandchildren. No. So not only are they vicious and <laughs> greedy beyond belief, but they're vengeful. They want vengeance on you. Why? Because you're speaking out about their abuses. <laughs> and they well, never deny. They don't deny. They don't deny the actual abuse. They don't deny it at all. They attack your character. Yep. Character assassination. They yep. think if they attack the speaker who gives the message, that'll be that'll be the end of it. They yeah. don't deny the content of what we say. Anyway, Ron, I am just deluged in this Christmas season. Pandemic or not, you know, my I'm just avalanched and snowed under. So I think we wanted to make the, I, I got to get back to work. I think that, um, <laughs> I think we wanted to make this short and snippy, but above all, it's educational, your channel. It right? sure is. So it sure is. So where 4.4 million of your public rightful money for your, for your real needs was ripped off, gouged, and extorted by a cult who has 3 billion sitting in hard cash. That's... I just wanted to get that out quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we got it out, and you did get an enlightenment and an educational program right here today. And I'm glad all of you who watch this have tuned in and continue to do so. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit the bell. So when uh, I come up with another show or any of my other things I do, like story time, you'll be notified. So from Karen De La Courier, I'd like to say to all of you, Listen, I wish you all a happy, successful, healthy life. And let me say this. God bless all of you. And God bless America. From me, Ron Miscavige, this is story time. Karen, do you want to say goodbye to all of our friends? I want to wish one and all a happy Christmas. There you go. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you all in the next one.